Disclaimer. Please forgive me now if there are any mispronunciations in this video. There is a lake in Wisconsin with a giant scale covered lake monster that has been spotted there for apparently a thousand years. Lake Geneva is the second largest lake in Wisconsin that measures 3 miles wide, 9 miles long, and almost 150 feet deep depending on the source. The Native Americans saw the lake as a doorway to the spirit world. Today, Lake Geneva is a bustling resort town overflowing with tourists and seasonal residents. There is no recorded evidence of the Native Americans encountering this mysterious creature. There was one piece of possible evidence that was destroyed during development. Years ago in Lake Geneva, there sat two effigy mounds that were believed to have been constructed by unknown native hands. While one of the mounds was shaped in the form of a panther, the other was a great mystery that was constructed in the shape of a giant serpent or lizard. But we'll never know because the area was experiencing expanded growth and development so the effigy mounds were removed. Other than the effigy mound, the stories have been passed down through oral tradition of storytelling. When the first white pioneers visited the area in 1831 was when the reports of the lake monster quickly followed. Locals say the enormous creature is some type of dinosaur descendant that has been passed over by time and evolution. Assuming that they mean it could be a surviving plesiosaur, which was a 40 to 50 foot long sea reptile that lived in the Cretaceous period, eyewitnesses claim the lake monster was much larger than this. According to the Chicago Tribune, the first recorded sighting of Jenny was on July 1892. Two boys and a man named Ed Fay saw an enormous snake while they were fishing. The three pulled in their lines just as a head popped up out of the water, opening its wide jaws revealing spiky rows of needle sharp teeth. The head of the beast kept raising until it was 10 feet above the water. The creature was covered with scales ranging from light green at the belly to dark brown at the tail. The group estimated the serpent's body to be 100 feet long and 3 feet in diameter. Afraid they began rolling away, but the creature followed, but only for a small distance when it suddenly the creature turned and headed for Kay's Park. However, another source exclaims that the sighting occurred on July of 1902. In his book, The W Files, by researcher J. Raff, wrote of several accounts during the 1890s in which unaware boaters would be out enjoying the day on the lake when the water would begin to boil up underneath their boat. After seconds would pass, the boaters found themselves thrown in into the waters while some unseen force capsized their boat. On August 12, 1899, the Wisconsin State Journal ran an article that described the lake monster as being a 30-foot monster. However, that changed when during broad daylight on September 28, 1902, Miss Buckingham was sitting on the porch of her cabin near Rides Park when she saw a strange serpent coiled and roiling not too far from the shoreline. She claimed that the creature had to be at least 65 feet in length with a perfectly round body that expanded nearly 10 inches in diameter. When it moved through the water, it sent waves in all directions. The commotion quickly attracted a half dozen other witnesses who reported that the portions of the creature's body could be seen on the surface of the water. Miss Buckingham called out to her neighbor, Miss Griliska Ride, to alert her of the beast. Miss Ride's two young children, along with a friend, came running out, and upon seeing the creature, the brave young men hurriedly grabbed a rowboat and gave chase in hopes to get a closer look. The serpent disappeared into the depths of the lake. The other witnesses placed the length of the serpent between 25 to 80 feet. The following day, the Gainesville Gazette ran the following story. Lake Geneva Sea Serpent. The report said the creature was 65 feet long and from 8 to 10 inches in diameter. The sightings began to subside, and some people who were skeptics believed that the lake's crystal clear waters is evidence disputing the existence of any underwater monster, making claim that any large creature inhabiting the lake would have no place to hide. Skeptics also insist the lake isn't large enough to support any breeding population of such large animals. What's apparently distinctive about this serpent is its unusual shape. Where most lake serpents have humps, Jenny appeared to be more elongated serpentine-like creature with an unusual lengthy large body. Over the years, occasional sightings pop up and are discussed by old timers, but nothing that is close to the appeal of the early sightings. What do you think? Did you like this video? Want to support this channel? Feel free to check out my Patreon page where I create content on cryptids, haunting, serious killers, alien abductions, and much more. Can't support me there? Like, comment, and subscribe here.